Hey guys, how you doing? Boosie here. Um, just recently, recently picked up this blind. Um, it is the Guide Gear six-sided hub blind. Um, so it has a hexagonal shape. And I just figured I'd make a video about it because I didn't see any in-depth ones on YouTube that were more about kind of the first impressions of the blind, how it seemed to be built. I didn't seem to find any reviews uh, as far as like customer feedback on the blind either. So I figured I'd make this for you guys. Um, so just stay tuned with me. Basically a little bit about the blind. The overall footprint of it is roughly 93 inches by like 103 inches. Don't quote me on that, but it's roughly just under nine by nine feet. Um, so it's easily, when I show you guys the inside, it'll easily have room for four hunters and their gear. Um, I really wouldn't put four in there to necessarily hunt, but three for sure with gear, especially if you're hunting with bows out of it, you're gonna need a lot of extra arm room. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give my first impressions. The blind itself um, is very well constructed. The poles and um, what they connect into, the hubs, are very well constructed. It comes with a bag, it comes with the stakes and ropes that you need to tie it down. Um, comes with everything. So it has a nice little bag with straps that you can use to carry it out onto the place that you plan to hunt. And then from there you can unpack it. Unpack and setup takes, after you read the directions, about three minutes if that. There is no construction, there is no poles to put together. You just lay it down and kind of pop up three of the walls and then pop the roof out and then pop out the other three walls and you're done. Um, so that's kind of my first impressions. Um, I'll show you one thing I will say. Uh, there's a black coating on the inside of the blind um, and that has begun to scratch a little bit just from setting it up and breaking it down. Um, beginning to scratch off. It's not piercing through the actual material but um, as I said, I, I, I can show you guys that in a moment. Um, I would recommend setting this up in your yard first in the daylight. I tried to do it at dusk on the land that I hunt and it didn't go so well. And then I went home and set it up in the light and it took me two minutes. So I, I would recommend that. Also, this blind reeks of manufacturing chemicals and processes that you're familiar with of anything that's been built in, in a factory or whatever. Um, the nylon or whatever the the covering is made of is definitely reeks of that manufacturing smell so i recommend setting it up in your yard you know for a few days spraying it down with some some decenter and um, i think you'll have much better results than just leaving it out there because it definitely is going to tip off any deer of that unnatural smell um yeah so those are my first impressions um, i'm going to show you guys up close and impersonal of, of the blind in a moment but some other basic figures, and this you will need to take into account before you decide how you're going to set up your blind. Um, it has two windows on the on one of the points, and then two windows on the back, um, and then some peephole flaps, and then mesh mesh screens over all of the windows. So it's it's not three. There there are windows on the front and back, um, but us having two adjacent shooting lanes, kind of at a 90 degree angle. We had to caddy quarter the blind to account for that. So it's just something to take into consideration. So now I'm going to walk around the blind and um, I'll show you guys the inside. Cool. So as you guys can see, um, there's these two windows here and they have mesh covering uh, both of them that can help break up your silhouette. Um, they also have these X bars crossing in front here of the window. Um, they come with this skirt over the windows. Um, we put our blind on a 9x9 nine nine piece of indoor outdoor carpet. It rained really heavily last night and um, the inside of the blind is completely dry. Um, so now I'll show you guys the inside. So here is the inside. Um, looking out through it, we've got pretty good sight lines of our two baits there. Um, and this is what I was talking about, caddy quartering your two windows here. And then if you turn directly 180 degrees, you have two windows there. So we had, can you move over, Joe? We had to caddy corner it 
so that we could see this one and hunt out of the the window here. Um, you do have these flaps um, that are just Velcro. Let me see if I can get enough light to show you the windows. Um, so they're on these sliders. That's how the window works, right? They're kind of finicky. They do get stuck. They're definitely not quiet. Whatever windows you want to have down on the day of the hunt, I would suggest having them down um, beforehand. Because if you try and move them at all, they're going to be loud. It also comes with these clips. And you use them to hook into a little band right there. Same with the, the mesh piece. Um, but yeah, so the inside is completely dry right now. Um, and as you can see, you have a lot of space to work with. Um, so I'm real pleased. Just an up close kind of on the hubs themselves. Let me get my phone out for some light. The hubs, this is just how they're set up. The poles are already in them. If you find that they're not lining up from the factory or you have some trouble getting it set up, we actually had one of the poles pop out. You just unscrew that nut and you can easily uh, put the poles back in their correct positions. So that's really nice. One thing I was gonna say, if you can see, yeah, this right here, these aren't holes. They're just scrapes against that black material I was talking about. So I would be very gentle when you're setting it up because we have quite a few and uh, we have yet to hunt out of it so far. Um, so just over the corner here, you can see me blind over my shoulder and we're standing about 30 yards away. So again, I just wanted to say that I think with a decent brush job like we've done here, uh, you know, it can it can blend in pretty well the side, um, beside the fact that it is six sided and kind of in that hexagonal shape, you do need to break up the edges that look more unnatural in nature. But that's really the only thing I would say about it. Um, one thing I didn't mention was I'm six foot uh, and a half inch, six foot and three quarter inches um, tall. And inside of that blind, I can stand up perfectly fine. I don't need to crane my neck. I don't need to hunch down. Um, I think it's going to be perfect to hunt out of chairs within that blind as well. So um, plenty of headroom for three big hunters in there, four big hunters. Um, but shooting, you're probably going to want to limit yourself to three. Um, but plenty of room for gear and of things of that nature. So again, um, from sportsmanguide.com, I purchased this blind for with their, their guide club or whatever their club is. I got it for $161 and like uh, free shipping. Um, it came in two days. Uh, definitely look for coupon codes on it because we got $50 off with that and three of the swivel guide chairs. Um, and I'll be doing a review on those chairs as well soon. So yeah, just uh, yeah, get out there and uh, have a hunt. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you felt it was good, just like or subscribe uh, for more content. But until then guys, take it easy.